very skin focused um brown bronzy look um kind of just like a cute casual look so if you are interested in that stick around um i'm gonna try to incorporate talking more in my videos so also stick around for that and if you have any requests or anything that you would like to see please let me know i genuinely would like to continue filming these and making these i just literally run out of run out of ideas so please 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 any suggestions are heavily welcomed i'm also currently reviewing some drugstore skincare so um that's definitely something that is coming on the horizon so with all of that let's hop into this look So I am just kicking off and getting started with my Milani Rose Primer. I have been using this for the past couple of months and I really have been enjoying it. I think it um, kind of creates like a moisturizing base. It's not too thick. It really does feel more like a lotion um, and it doesn't leave a white cast on my face. Um, so I think it's just a really great everyday like staple primer to have um, in your collection. concealer um, I'm doing this before I go in with my foundation so like I said in the introduction for this look I really wanted to emphasize um, my skin and really just give a clean healthy skin um, look so I am kind of combating some of the dark circles that I have um, underneath before putting the foundation on <music> together I got some Sun earlier uh, this month and so I have been mixing the Milani screen Queen and the covergirl um, foundations um, and kind of mixing them I really love this combination because it gives a soft matte finish which is for me um, kind of what I consider the most like natural looking um, foundation for myself so I'm I mix those two together and it really just gives a finish that I am really in love with um, also just want to mention that the sponge I'm using is an e.l.f. concealer sponge. I really like it because it is really, really soft and it expands um, and gets really large when, it, <laughs> when you wet it. So um, I would definitely recommend this. I think it's also three bucks, so check it out.
going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. This is a oldie but goodie. It is a staple for me. Um, I feel like I use it like with every other makeup purchase. Um, I like using Fawn because it has a bit of a orange and like a yellowy undertone, which is the color that I like to use the most because I think it, it, it looks the best on me and I like to look very glowy and very natural. And so anything with any kind of yellow or orangey tone to it is something I definitely gravitate towards. Um, I'm going over right under my, um, my eyes and I'm going on all the places that I uh, want to be highlighted. Um, so I use a very like old school YouTuber uh, base in terms of my concealer, but um, I use it because I wear glasses. And so I like to make sure that my under eyes are really bright. Um, so I spend a lot of time there. steps because it just helps last longer and I really like the black radiance um, powder I think it matches the skin tone really well and it kind of really helps set pretty fluffy um, all over eyeshadow brush and I am using the Black Radiance face powder as my eyeshadow color. Um, I really like doing this because like I said it matches my skin tone again really well so that just helps kind of um, bring a consistent color to my lid. And then also I'm doing a kind of everyday chill, um, it's giving skin look. So using some neutral colors always helps. <laughs> Revolution Banana Powder. Um, I'm using that to highlight and brighten up my under eye. Again, like I said, I wear glasses and so I want to make sure that my eyes really pop. And this is a trick that I um, do pretty much every day. So I like to use a lighter color and that setting powder to really help brighten up that, that area there. <laughs>
darker brown to use in the outer corner of my eye to just bring some depth um, to the eye. That's all. She cute, yeah? You're close to you. consistency I also think is really nice and the brush is perfectly like small and pointed to kind of really help you shape your brow <laughs> the most controversial <laughs> thing that I do or like you know the the tactic that I use the most that I think really helps bring my face together so this is the elf um, blush palette in dark and I use um, the bottom two colors to kind of shape my face so I don't really use bronzer in any of my makeup so I use my blush in the combination of those colors to help shape my face um, and so as you can see I'm bringing that down into my cheek and then up into my hairline and I'm really packing a punch and then I'm using that pink color that that pink color to go directly on kind of like the apples of my cheek and I'm gonna blend that out again um, to kind of blend it into that base that we created with the other color and this is how I blush my face <laughs>
suggestions please be sure to leave them in the comments and follow me on instagram see you in the next one bye